Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin. We've got another unboxing and I finally got my Shield TV Pro in a few minutes ago. So I thought I would take it out of the box now and then uh, in the next day or two, we'll have some content about my thoughts about the new Shield TV Pro. So stay tuned for that. And that will of course be on my main channel at lon.tv. And I should mention as I'm unboxing this that I paid for this with my own funds. So all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this unboxing, nor is anyone reviewing it or approving it before it gets uploaded. I did review the non-pro Shield already. Uh, so you can check out that review on the main channel. And we'll again be taking a deeper dive on the Pro here in a few minutes. The remote looks identical to what we saw on the other Shield, so that's the same. Uh, and the Shield itself uh, looks a lot like the one from two years ago that they released. In fact, it's the same exact design. Uh, it unfortunately appears to lack an SD card slot, which would have been nice, but you do have two USB ports on here. Uh, so in many ways, this is kind of a step down from the old Pro. Uh, because it lacks that SD card slot. It also lacks the storage that the old Pro has. The old Pro had 500 gigs of storage, this one just 16. And without that SD card, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to augment the storage. Uh, the old Pro had the two USB ports plus the SD card slot. So this is kind of a step down. It's actually the standard Pro from, or the standard Shield from two years ago. Uh, inside the box here, we have the power brick, again, the same as before, and a quick start guide, and that looks to be about it. In fact, uh, that spot there is empty, as it says there. So all in, it looks like it's more of the same. Uh, from what I'm seeing on other reviews, this thing looks like it's performing about the same as the old Shield as well, which is another letdown. Uh, but I'll put it through my own tests and see if I uh, come up with the same conclusion on this. So uh, we'll have more on this very shortly, but my advice would be to you, as I've been playing around with the new Shield versus the old ones, that if you can get the old Shield with the game controller, it's going to be pretty much the same thing that you see here on the new Pro, and you'll have a controller that also has a, a headphone jack for uh, private listening on it too. So more to come here. Stay tuned and let me know what you'd like to see in the full review down in the comments section. And again, we'll have a full review at lon.tv very shortly, likely tomorrow or Saturday. Thanks a lot. And this is Lon Seibin. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters, including gold level supporters, the four guys with quarters podcast, Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Brian Parker and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.